So far, this presidential race has split the Republican Party between moderates and conservatives. And joining us now is New Hampshire Congressman Frank Ginta, who's a Tea Party conservative, still undecided about who to endorse for next Tuesday morning's primary. Uh, thank you so much, Congressman, for joining us. And I want to take a look at how Tea Party supporters voted in Iowa last night. First of all, about 64 percent of them uh, identified themselves as Tea Party supporters. So a large chunk of the electorate actually says they have support for the Tea Party in Iowa. Well, I think there's still frustration with the level of spending at the federal level, the lack of focus on reducing our debt and deficit, and that's primarily where Tea Party folks are, are focusing their attention and energy. So you saw a lot of that discussion in Iowa. You're going to see that this week in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And still, uh, quite a few people are undecided. Things will tighten up in New Hampshire, and we'll see how the week shakes out. But as, as we're looking at right now, what are we talking about, a 27% lead for Mitt Romney in the right. latest Suffolk poll for here in New Hampshire. So what does that tell us about Tea Party strength in this state? Well, I think there's Tea Party activism in this state, in pockets of the state. Remember, Mitt Romney was governor of Massachusetts, has a home here in New Hampshire. That being said, now that Iowa is done, there'll be that final focus and that final uh, seven days of who am I going to vote for. I think you will see things tighten. Uh, obviously, different newspapers have supported different candidates. That'll make things interesting. Rick Santorum, uh, the clear winner, I think, last night because of just the expectation game. He doesn't have any expectations here, so I think you're going to see him surge. And I think it's going to be between the three of them, despite the fact that uh, John Huntsman has spent so much time here in New Hampshire. There are about four or five different candidates who are all trying to lay claim to the Tea Party vote. And what that has ended up uh, resulting in is a fractured Tea Party vote. Uh, they ha the Tea Party hasn't really coalesced around any one candidate. And that, does that hurt the movement's power at all, the fact that you haven't gotten behind one I don't think candidate? it hurts the movement, because the movement is not uh, a group focus so much as individual based. And people have the right and the responsibility to make their own decisions as to who they're going to support. That being said, you know, would the Tea Party go away as a result of maybe not having coalesced around one candidate? Absolutely not. I think it's, if anything, it's going to make the Tea Party stronger to continue to put people in the White House or in Congress mm -hmm. who have the values of, again, reducing the debt and deficit, focusing on limited government, and doing it in a structural, long-term way. You're not going to endorse before next Tuesday. Honestly, I have not decided. Uh, you know, I was talking about this just this morning with my wife. I have not made a final decision yet. I know it's getting uh, time sensitive, and I've got to make a decision within the next day or so. So what, what candidates strike <coughs> you as most consistent with Tea Party values right now? Well, right now, I think the, the most who would be consistent with Tea Party would be Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum. Uh, that being said, there's more than just that. You've got to focus on electability. You've got to focus on who's got the best uh, equipped campaign to run against Barack Obama. This for Tea Parties, I think more importantly, is about uh, making Barack Obama one-term president. So that's number one. And then who can do that? Who's got the full package? That's why I think there's uh, dissension amongst the ranks. And actually, I think it's instructive that in Iowa, even though so many people considered themselves Tea Party Republicans, they said they went with the candidate who was most likely to be Barack Obama, exactly. not the true conservative. E exactly. And, and that's why this is more about Barack Obama and getting rid of Barack Obama. It's not an ideological campaign. Mm -hmm. It's more about who can we put up that is going to be Barack Obama. Tea Partiers are angry at his policies. Uh, health care, uh, foreign policy, spending, stimulus, those things are not in tune with the Tea Party, nor do I think it's quite in tune with what I think is a center-right country. So that is what the guiding principle is for Tea Partiers. That's why they're split, I think, amongst the candidates. Got it. All right. Well, Congressman Frank Inta, former mayor of Manchester, where we're sitting this morning, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for being in our great city and our great state. That's great. If you could raise the temperature a little bit, we'd appreciate we'll, we'll it. Do, we'll do our best. <laughs> All right.